Good morning, my hearties. Dinky do, it's just me, Scotty McClear. A very warm welcome to you. Saturday morning, of course, nothing gets past me, and lots and lots to chat about. So little time to do it in. Never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClear. You miss a moment of life. Come and join us as soon as you possibly can. This is the best live show you'll get on TikTok this morning. Morning, Scotty. How are we today? We are Dinky do, Kareem. Well spotted, sir. You're absolutely off the mark this morning. I take it you're already dog walked and uh, you've been back at work for two days you tell me yes absolutely good morning sir scotty good morning stanzibar lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do to you welcome welcome to our saturday morning chit chat live on tiktok now today is huge because at 11 o'clock tonight on the youtube channel so get on to that and get subscribing we are talking cars this is the second we did one last week and um, everybody has loved it. You can see it and uh, you can see it on YouTube. You can hear it. It's just me talking basically with a few fabulous people who tuned in at the time. Tonight will be different altogether because lots more of you will be joining us. Absolutely. Talking cars. Who's the gent behind? That's me. And oh, sorry, Lord Reith the Labrador. He's the gent. I say to you, good morning. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. It feels I haven't been away from work. Excellent. I'll be on YouTube at 11, Scotty. Yes, come and join us and discuss cars, Kareem. Anything to do with cars. It's so open and it will become a lot of fun, I can tell you. Also talk of a YouTube phone-in. Very, very important. And talk of me going back on radio. So you guys heard it here first. Tremendous stuff. We love it. Excellent. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. You're very, very welcome. Yes, indeed. We look like it. Morning. Excellent. The sober Queen Victoria. Oh, was she not usually sober? Did she take a refreshment? I think John Brown and her liked a wee dram. I actually was very privileged to have dinner with a lady who was married to a gentleman who was no longer with us. And the gentleman had been ADC to a lord whose mother was a lady-in-waiting to Queen Victoria. And she was able to tell me over dinner what it was like to sit in the room with Queen Victoria. Amazing. Uh, could tonight also mention steamboats? Oh, we might mention steamboats. One or two of the people phoning in might be steamboats. So there you are. Congrats, which radio? Well, I can't tell you at the moment because discussions are ongoing. I used to like a wee dram. Oh, so did I. I don't take it at all now. Nine o'clock, dinky do. Uh, dinky do, everybody. Lovely to have you with us and a warm welcome. I've uploaded some new TikTok videos. Uh, Scottish pipe bands, wear your hat to. Yes, indeed. Very much always. Chieftain of the Highland Games, I was privileged to be. Uh, good morning, Mr. McClure. So there we are. Which brooch on your Glengarry? The Glengarry badge is my own, the hand of justice. There she is. Fantastic. Do you know where our guile is? Know it. I'm from it. <laughs> Fantastic. They are, my family are an old Argyle family who gave the monks of Paisley Abbey the land on which to build the abbey. Oh, yes. And apparently, I'm royal. Everything goes, I so you are. No, no, serious. Jen up. Right hand up to the big man. He's from Oban. Ah, Hugh Mackay, how lovely to have you with us, Kamra. Ooh, Maha, have you been up and down the Balakan this morning? Are you a fan of Scottish comedian Limmy? Uh, yes, I like uh, watching Limmy. I haven't seen him for some time, but uh, I like his sort of style, a wee touch of the psychology in it there. Morning from Yorkshire. Ah, I will love you in Yorkshire, Paddy Power. Morning from Yorkshire. Lovely to have you with us, like. Aye, and I'll say that. Uh, my dad is from Lennox Town. We love Lennox Town. How fantastic. I used to go out and see people at Fintry. There we are. Scotty, hashtag Floatai. Good morning. Well, slogan. How lovely to have you with us, Dinky you Do. You're so much nicer than the born again Christian fascist. I was just watching. Oof, that could cover a variety of people. Morning from the Granite City. Fit like Lachy. Uh, I hope as well up at Aberdeen and that you're hearing some rowies. Maybe do you like a rowies crisp and uh, a few softies? 
for your breakfast like that. I was just wanting to ken if I was well away and for your dues. Fantastic. He's still in the airwaves. Yes, Raza. Talk of going back in the airwaves. I was on radio till last year. I'm now in my 30th year of Scotty McClue on the wireless. Scotty McClue is on the wireless. Lol, lol, atrocious crocodile. How are you this morning? And a big dinky do. Saturday morning, guys. Has anybody followed this morning? I'll bet you have not. Come on, you lazy, 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 lazy lot. I mean that affectionately, of course. Uh, follow me, hashtag Flo Tide. Follow me on TikTok, at Scotty McClue. I think if you just tap the top left, happier for watching you, atrocious crocodile. We should all be happier watching Scotty McClue. Have you had a look at mainstream media news recently? It would depress the life out of you. Going on steam trains today with the grandkids, Paddy Power. You will love every second of it. I used to get the steam train to school. Fourpence return. That was 4D. And uh, even if the train was pulling out, you could run and catch it. Morning from uh, Gordon and we, Oliver. Hope you're well, Scotty. Gordon and we, Oliver. How lovely to have you with us, Gordon. Lots of good things. YouTube tonight, 11 o'clock. Might be a bit late for you or might be a bit late for Oliver. Uh, but he can have a kip while we're talking cars. And then, and there might be steamboats talked as well, you see. And uh, so we might open it up a bit. Have you been to Stirling Castle? Been to Stirling Castle. I went to a grand ball with the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders and danced the night away in the Great Hall at Stirling Castle. I set up the radio station for Stirling. Central FM Radio, it's called now. And that was 30 years ago. See, there you go, fantastic. Have I been to Stirling Castle? What are you talking about? The gentleman who's with was a senior Argyle officer, and we were sitting in a room, and I said, have you been in this room before? He said, this was my sitting room for 14 years. <laughs> uh, I had to get out of bed. <laughs> Thank you for brightening my morning. Atrocious crocodile, up you get, and into the shower with you, Lala. Good day, Scotty, my hero. Good morning. How lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to Scotty McClure, live on TikTok just for you. Uploading lots of new videos, guys. Go and like them. Tap, 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 de tap on the top left plus sign. Make sure you've followed. Let's have a follow fest. I'll hold this up and shut up for a second or two. There you go. Can everybody start following? Well, I said I'd shut up, didn't I? What's new in Scotland? Uh, what's new in Scotland? We've just introduced a thing called the fish supper. So I'm going to try one of these at some point. There'll be a lot of people steamboats at that time of night. Uh, did you see the news? Yes, yes, I see the news all the time. Uh, send a panda, please. Thank you. That is so beautiful of you. Thank you. Stansy Bar has just sent me a gift live on TikTok. Guys, you people are so beautiful. I can't thank you enough. I know you aren't, but I just think, where are you a fisherman? No, I'm not. My family were fishermen going way back. <coughs> Would you ever become a vegan? I might vegan. The only worry I have is that vegans produce quite a lot of methane, which adds to the greenhouse gases, you see. That's the trouble. So I don't know where vegans come in at the Carbon Conference. Hello, Scotty, dinky do brother. Ah, yes, post David. What's your favorite food? Um, anything edible really goes down quite well. Are you in your pajamas just now? Oh, uh, yes, I'm in my checkered, checkered pajamas. Yes, indeed. I could be anything you like. <laughs> I like your horse snatch of the wings. That's Pegasus. Yes, to mount to heaven on Pegasus doth ride. Uh, my father was a paratrooper, you see. How old are you? Uh, if you don't want to answer, well, we don't know how old I am. I'm a time traveler, you see. And uh, I could be any age. I could be, I'm certainly 28. And I may be 2 million. Do a Shrek voice. I've been doing one for years. Um, hello from the Philippines. Stay safe, sir. We love you. Philippines, Karim. Thank you so much for my beautiful TikToks. Good morning, Scotty. Standing to attention. I salute you. Thank you very much. Excellent stuff. 
Uh, follow us as soon as you can, guys. Do an Irish accent, north or south. Uh, Scotty could literally be a time traveler and wouldn't bat an island or be surprised. Bebop, you're 100% correct, Lala. There we are. Hello, Scotty. Hello. Hi, Jerry. Dinky do. Guys, follow us as soon as you can. Um, are you a royalist? Everybody is a royalist. I have never heard of anyone who is not a royalist. The only people who don't uh, seem to like royals are people who don't understand what the position is. Hello, do you support LGBTQ? Of course, every day supports LGBTQ. But I was asking last week, should it be LBGTQS? Should we add straight to it just to even everything up? Hi from New York City. We love you in New York City. Northern Ireland. Right, Fagan, I'll do your Northern Irish accent, okay? It depends where you're actually from. But that's me, Scotty McClure. All right, wee man. What about yourself now? What? Where are you actually from in Northern Ireland? God save the Queen, I say. Your Majesty. Um, now, there we go. Who have we got here? Come and join us as soon as you possibly can. We're very, very busy, but we've a lot to get through. And uh, do a Yankee accent. I always do a Yankee accent. I'm from... I'm actually from the Bronx in New York. There you are. Any good? I don't know, guys, if you're watching from the Bronx. Scotty, do you think Scotland should be independent from England? I think Scotland should keep its own money to rebuild its economy. I'm not sure about this independence thing because I'm very suspicious of some of the nationalists and their motives. There's also a wee bit of anti-monarchy floating about, and we do not like that at all. So they need to sort that out. Otherwise, independence will be toast. I don't think it should be LGBTQS as straight people don't have to fight for the people they love. Well, I don't think LGBTQ have to fight that much nowadays because they're all totally 100% accepted in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And certainly on here, we don't even have any divisions at all because we're all inclusive. I phoned you in 1996 about single parents. Soothing souls, I remember the call. Uh, Scotland is a myth. No, no, Scotland is a country, Hayden. One of the four countries that makes up the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. However, Brexit may well have caused, along with economic annihilation, and destruction of our economy, economic annihilation. It may also have caused political fragmentation of the United Kingdom. So you can blame Brexit at a cost of 250 billion, the biggest act of self-harm since World War I. Hello from Africa. We love you in Africa, Raiden. How lovely to have you with us, our Reagan from South Africa. No, he just says Africa. So which part of Africa are you watching in, Reagan? Scotty, sometimes I think you're barely clutching to the last strands of sanity. Yes, William, that's classic projection, that's called. That's you putting you onto me. Doesn't wash, la. Yes, 100% sane, full of common sense. Um, so there you are. Uh, Scotty, do you have a favorite film where we were just talking that we love the imitation game about Alan Turing, the late, sadly, Alan Turing, who um, cracked the Enigma codes in World War II and reduced the war by two years. Because he was gay, this country punished him, chemically castrated him, and the poor soul took his life at 54. Tragic, tragic. But that's been my favorite. Benedict Cumberbatch, wonderful actor, playing Alan Turing in the film. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Thank you so much, Connor, uh, for following. Have you been to Australia? Sadly, I haven't been to Australia. And I'd love to go down under and see everybody in Melbourne and Sydney and Adelaide, Perth, West Australia. Go and see us rock. Have some, all right, from Govan in Glasgow. I've been to Govan in Glasgow a lot. We love govern, dinky-doo, you governors. 
Um, I've got my meeting, Scotty. Catch you later. Catch you later. The Sober Queen Victoria. Have a lovely meeting and don't let anybody talk you into nonsense. Right. One of these meetings. Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? Right. Well, I can't read that out, we crimble, but no doubt everyone else will have. Here from Arizona, we love you. Alan Turing is a hero, R.I.P. Bebop, he is indeed. I would also say he's credited with inventing the computer. How good is that? I'm aware of the psychological defense of projection. I was not projecting, my dear man. William, you must be, dear boy. You know, thinking that McClure's as mad as yourself. No way. Cumberbatch is a phenomenal actor. He certainly is a Bebop. Good morning, Sir Scotty. Geodog. How lovely to have you with us. Dear dog, you're just in time. A man questioning McClue's sanity. Tut, tut, tutity, tut. Just started laughing really hard for no reason. Uh, your dad's daddy, we all do that. We just suddenly burst out laughing. There we are. Royal Highland Fusiliers, Glen Gary, Scotty. Uh, yes, I would like to think so, but it's actually Argyles. It had the Argyles badge on it, and now it's got mine. The Hand of Justice, I tell you. But the Royal Highland Fusiliers, an amalgamation of the Royal Scots Fusiliers and the Highland Light Infantry, the HLI, known affectionately in Glasgow as Hell's Last Intake. And I lived within a stone's throw, not that you'd have thrown a stone, of Mary Hill Barracks for 11 years. Loved it. Glory, glory, Glasgow Rangers says Magnus Breyer. And, of course, in the interest of balance, McClure has to shout, Mon the hoops! There you go. Everyone needs a sprinkle of madness, my dear fellow. Oh, William, I'm not saying we don't have a sprinkle. You know, but nothing on the, the standard uh, and scale of your good self. Turn the swanny for him. Ach, no, he's, he's William. I don't think he's, he's really a bad man, Geo dog. He just was telling Scotty McClure's projecting his own condition onto me, or attempted to. Scotty, do you have a favourite book, Bebop? I have probably got nigh on 2,000 favourite books in this house. Oh, for heaven's sake. You could call me Barbie, I look just like a dolly. Oh, Nicky the Queen, you could call me Ken, I look like Action Man. <laughs> um, Balance to the force. Absolutely, Magnus Bryan. Scotty, my dear friend, what hat is that? That is the Glengarry, one of Scotland's finest hats. And the red and white checks at the front signify the thin red line at the Battle of Balaclava in the Crimea with the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders. The 93rd and the 91st. Wonderful stuff. Scotty, my dear fellow. Good morning, Scotty. How's all with you, Frank? All is outstanding this morning. We're doing a wonderful TikTok live here with beautiful, beautiful people joining us. It's incredible. That looks so cool. Thank you. Shall I wear it other than my bonnet? Why do the Scots guards, uh, where's their dicing? Well, that will be a similar story like the red hackle. You know, there are stories to all these things, to the kilts, to the chevrons, to the pleats, the fast foot and mouth regiment, third class cook and bottle washer. I heard about somebody that once saved 500 lives in World War I. He shot the cook. <laughs> Sorry, only joking. Are the Scottish and Irish related? The Irish are related to everyone. Everyone is Irish to a greater or lesser extent. So there we are. The Irish just need to learn to behave themselves with each other. Fantastic. There's Vinny from you. Top of the morning to you now, Vicky. Lovely to have you with us, Vinny. Fantastic. Scotty, have you ever read Sherlock Holmes and the Hound of the Baskervilles? Yes, I have. Tycho. A little bit scary, actually. Arthur Conan Doyle. An Edinburgh man. You know, 221B Baker Street doesn't actually exist. You know that, don't you? The Scots Guards don't wear a red hackle. No, the Scots Guards don't, but the red hackle do. So there we are. The Black Watch wear a red hackle, if I remember right. Am I correct? 
There we are. See, Ali? Yes, you, you don't need to come the smarty pants on here. McClue knows his stuff. Do you know anything about the Elliots? Yes, I do. Did you ever see a program called The House of Elliot? Da -da 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 -da. Excellent stuff. Up the Royal Artillery, says Gravy McKenzie. We salute you. But Gravy McKenzie is a British Army officer from the Royal Artillery. Excellent stuff. Now, can I get a random Scotland fact? Yes, you can. Scotland has had its own monarchy for 2,347 years. Not many people know that, but you do now. My grandpa downed 500 Luftwaffen airplanes. He was the chief mechanic. <laughs> Thank you, new Captain. Uh, how's your day today, Scotty? Greetings from Norwich. My mother's sides of the Elliot. Yes, a famous Scottish army officers, Scott Elliot. Uh, now, we don't do any of this, uh, you stinky. Normally, it's a lifetime ban. Now, you stinky, I'm going to let you survive today to see if you grow up and raise your game a bit. Guys, do you think we should leave you stinky on? He's mentioning the sea. Uh, should we down the swanee with him, toast him, or leave him on? Geodog, I know you're a bit harsh at dealing out uh, summary, summary justice, but what should we do with you stinky? Doom the swanee? Were you in the army? Ah, Ali, we don't go into all that. Uh, what's the weather today in Inverness? Thank you, I'm sorry. Not at all, you stinky. You stay with us and raise your game. You see, this is TikTok's top talk show. So why on earth would we put trolling like that on? Do you see what I mean? It wasn't even funny when it started, and it certainly isn't funny now, and it's certainly not big, and it's certainly not clever. Now, normally it's an immediate lifetime ban, but you're staying. What's the weather in Inverness today? Oh, well, it'll be a wee bit showery, but it'll be fine as well. There we go. Inverness, give us Barabbas, free Barabbas, the crowd shouted. I think perhaps Barabbas should have gone up on the cross, but then history would have been different, you see. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm Scottish. Well, Scottish people are usually pretty grown up on here, you stinky. Loving the hat, wonderful. Yes, time for him to go. Nobody should get a second chance, says Frank McElroy. Now, there you are, you stinky. Frank is actually saying you should be put down the swanee. McClure is far too lenient with some of the defaulters on here. Good morning from Wales. Uh, you stinky is saying sheesh. So I think you stinky doing the swanee, guys. Yeah. Doing the swanee, you sheesh. We're just about to sheesh you. You stinky is now sheeshed. Bye bye, you stinky. A wee troll. Gone. Right, that's the end of him. Uh, are you against the army? Why would you be against the army, Ali? I think give him one chance only if he's willing to apologize. Nope, no, dear dog, he failed. He failed test one. He fell at the first fence. So there we are. He's gone. There we go. Uh, among us, absolutely. He told me to shish. I love your accent. I thank you. From California. We love you, Lisa, in California. Hello, hello, Lisa. Lovely to have you with us. Um, mm, this is cool, says Among Us. Thank you. Who's the fella behind you? The fella is Lord Reith, my Labrador, and myself. Uh, fantastic. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. As a famous actress said, Terracio, <laughs> are you a Freemason? No, I'm a McClure. But I knew uh, two Masons. One was James Mason and the other was Perry. Do you remember Perry Mason? Fantastic. I agree. Doing the Swanee is off doing the Swanee. Somebody just as dear dog. Sorry if I had a Scottish noble title and a kilt, my life would be complete. Well, Aggie. You may well have a Scottish noble title. I have one, and I said to my father, should I use this? He went, I wouldn't bother with all that. You'll end up selling tickets for things. He was a very wise man, my father. I'm going on holiday to Ayr next month. 
My grandma is Scottish. Excellent Star Wars. You're very, very lucky. A Scottish grandma. Scotty, I thought Jim Davidson was an excellent entertainer. Shame he's been shunned by the PC crowd. He's very, very good. Uh, I'll tell you what, go on to YouTube and look at some of his YouTubes and also look up a YouTube performer called Alex Belfield, right? Alex Belfield on YouTube. And if you look up Jim Davidson and Alex Belfield, very, very good. Very, very good. Follow us, guys. There we are. Uh, the boss, we don't discuss that on here because it's a negative. We're all positive on here. So no news, no sadness, nothing that might get us down. The whole thing was started for joy, for lightheartedness, for banter. So we don't discuss anything to do with serious stuff like that. So there we are. There's no medicine for being deaf. No, I don't think so, Geo Dog. Otherwise, we'd have had a spoonful. There we are. Were you in the RA? Well, we don't go into that. You'll have to make up your mind. I love your sense of humor. We certainly need more of it. Mark, how lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. I thank you. What accent is that, mate? It's not an accent at all. It's just the way I speak. So there we have it. Because uh, remember, I've worked all over the country or the countries. So there we are. Fantastic. No, the boss, it's about a negative subject. Do you see what I mean? It's about the pandemic. We don't want to lead on to any discussion of that because it's all in the mainstream media. So if you go on to a mainstream media program, you can discuss that to your heart's content. There you are. Fantastic. Scotty, most of your audience on here are too young to remember Perry Mason. Oh, absolutely. Well, possibly, yes. What about Ironside? No. Wouldn't remember Raymond Burr. Wonderful. Surely that's a positive. Um, well, no, no, you see, we don't we don't want anything to do with that at all. It's too serious. It'll start a big RJ Barge, uh, you know, from, from all that. Am I right, Scotty? Perry Mason was a radio series. Uh, well, Frank, I think originally it may have been, but Perry Mason was a massive, massive television series. It was about an American lawyer called Perry Mason. And the actor was called Raymond Burr. And then he played Ironside in a wheelchair latterly. Uh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough, the boss. Good man. Uh, are you worried about China and Russia? Well, <clears throat> I'm more concerned about the fact we came out of U Europe. And that left us at the mercy of superpowers. Because when we were in Europe, we had clout. Now we have zero clout. So we're floating about like a fart on a windy day. That's the problem, I tell you. So I would rather we got back into Europe, and uh, I'm sure we'd get a good deal if we had uh, some good negotiators, you know. But you see, Brexit was really a fight in the Tory party. It had nothing to do with dragging four countries kicking and screaming out of the world's top trading block, you know. Uh, he speaks the Queen's English. That's it, Neil, absolutely. Would I be correct in assuming you're from England? You would be 100% wrong, but that doesn't mean I don't adore England. There we are. Shalom, shalom. Yes, indeed. Lovely to have you with us. Okay, so California official loves you, or at least according to me, Lisa. America loves Scotty McClure. If I came to America now, I might even be your next POTUS. The only reason I'm not the POTUS is I'm not an American citizen. And you'll see that on the YouTube. Do you do mass debate on your live streams? We have done mass debate on our live streams a lot. Of. We've done a lot of that. Uh, they will most likely remember Knight Rider. Ah, Knight Rider was one of my favorites. When I was an ITV announcer, I used to introduce it. Now it's time for my favorite program, Knight Rider. Kit, Kit the car, remember Kit? Woo! Fantastic. Uh, morning, Big Yund. Will they remember Thunderbirds, Fireball XL5, Captain Scarlet and the Mysterians, Stingray? Will they remember all that? <coughs> We've left the EU, but we're still part of NATO. Well, a lot of the thing is, 
The EU and NATO brought us 50 years of peace and prosperity. You see, we had to crawl on our knees to beg Europe to let us in because we were bust. And the General de Gaulle, which I thought was a bit harsh, considering what we'd done for him in World War II, General de Gaulle said, no, no roast beef. But we did get in eventually in 1971, 50 years ago, and it was fantastic. And we controlled, along with our dear friends and allies, Germany, 30% of the market, 510 million people and 52 countries. And we just walked away at a cost of 250 billion because A, the Tories were argy-bargying, and B, they wanted to save their wealthiest friends from paying their tax because the EU were about to start prying. And the wealthy saw, oh, no, we'll end up paying tax. Get us out of Europe. So we've been what from the back by the hoory Henrys. And all the wee Alf garnets just ran along. Uh, so there we have it. <clears throat> I remember our inside only did one season. He said he was sick and tired of being pushed around. Tut, tut. Remember the TV program? It was 1857. The TV program, 1857. Or do you mean it came on at three minutes to seven? A fart and a windy day, Mark. You're quite right. That's what it's done. Morning, Scotty. Haggis fending off a sore head from last night. Now, Gemarella, you need to give up the sauce. I know exactly what that feels like, and I gave up the sauce, and it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Canada's better than America. Well, Hayden, no country is better than another country. They're just different. You know, although things are pretty tough in Afghanistan at the moment. Uh, you might be, and that's changing lately. What's that one, Lisa? Do tell us more. I remember listening to you on the radio. This is very good of you just for the bands. And now we're on TikTok and we're probably going to do a phone in on YouTube. Uh, so get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, guys. You'll see the URL and subscribe for tonight. Tonight is the second program of Cars. So come and join us. Scotland's still a myth hidden only in your tiny mind. You go to Scotland and see the reality. Do not go there, Scotty. We need you and your wit here. Neil, I know TikTok has been huge, but we need to get everybody following. We must get the followers up. We're sitting on a, an infinitesimal, um, infinitesimal 17,000. Almost 700,000 have watched these lives. What is wrong with people? Just get following. So there we go. Uh, remember you from my high school, absolutely, Jordan. If you were the USA's president, they would have been safe. Geo dog, I would take a tough line with everybody and the advisors would be um, listened to but dismissed if they needed a pinch of salt or a sack of salt. Join your live to say hi. Everybody should be on here. So there we are. Hayden, you're spamming me now. I'm about to toast you and send you down the swanee. Is that what you want? Hayden, you have to tell us if you want to leave TikTok's top talk show. Wobble says, what are your pronouns? We never, ever, ever, ever do pronouns, Wobble. It's rude. It's divisive. It's old-fashioned. It's passé. And it's an attempt to label people. And we don't label anyone on here. We're all inclusive. Right, so talking about begging on your knees isn't negative. Uh, the boss, we were begging on knees. It's a fact. Whether it's negative or positive, we begged on our knees. It's a piece of history, right? You need to be informed of the facts. Ironside, um, so there we are, right? We've done that one. Very unfunny. Uh, were you a high school teacher? I was indeed. Is the Loch Ness Monster real? If the Loch Ness Monster was not real. Guys, I'm just about to send this Hayden idiot down the swanee. We're getting spammed. A wee troll. You need to raise your game, Hayden boy. He's gone. Gone. History. Right, that's that. We have to be watchful and make sure all the voices can be heard. Oh, absolutely, Lisa. Big style. 
I get the feeling this lie is just about slagging off Tories. We've never slagged off anybody political. We were just explaining that Brexit, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Brexit was a fight within the Tory party. And four countries have suffered for it. So there's no slagging any political parties. We're apolitical on here. Uh, what's the myth? You probably have a bit of Celtic in you, or Celtic. Oh, we've all got Celtic in it. I don't know how much Celtic. Correction, Scotty, I meant did the TV series come out about 1957. Perry Mason. It might well have done, Frank. I can't remember if it was ITV or BBC. It's so long ago. It was my birthday. Jake, happy birthday. Who's the guy in the painting? That's me. That's Scotty McClue with Lord Reith the Labrador. How amazing is that? Guys, I need everybody following. We've had nobody following. We've had about two people follow us. That. That's shocking. There should be something like half a million followers to Scotty McClue and TikTok. What's going on? Can everybody follow, please? I'll watch. There we go. What's better, haggis or black pudding? I personally prefer the black pudding, but not at a bun supper. I could probably go a plate with the two on it. Haggis and the black pudding. Very, very good protein. Guys, are you following us here? A nice balanced food. Who's not following? Who's for doing this one? Independence or not? How much do they pay you? To lie about Scotland being real. Hayden is some halfway, isn't he? He's gone. So I will not read that out. Has anybody followed? <laughs> yes, but you're trying to turn you into a cult, Scotty. Um, yes, indeed. Yes, oh, I am a cult. There is no doubt about it. Do you like Doctor Who? Yes, I'd love to be the next Doctor Who. I think Scotty McClue, Dinky Doo, would be excellent for Doctor Who. What do you all think? Do you have anyone in your history? There we are. Well, I'm not going to all that, Tommy. We're international on here. Uh, are you straight? If you don't mind me asking, I am straight down the middle. So I do hope you're not disappointed, Jake. There we are. Hello. Well, yes, doing the swanee with them. Where's your shot from? My shot is from a very, very well-known supplier, but I won't do an art uh, and a, a big advert, you know. I love when you talk Stanley to useless rude spammers. Well, Aggie, they need to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. And we don't put up with nonsense on here. I think there's a little band of puerile people who see if they can spoil young people's lives by trolling them. And from day one, we just banned them here. So trolls are not welcome. And it's well known across the internet that nobody scrolls. So you don't scroll past Scotty McClure if you come upon him on your lives. You stay for five minutes and learn. And nobody trolls. You never, ever, ever, ever troll Scotty McClure. And off they jolly well go. Uh, so there we are. <clears throat> now, what have we got here? <clears throat> Do you have anyone? Uh, oh, yes, we've done that. Are you really that deluded? You think no one saw the EU for what it is? Now, toenail, I love, as soon as I see the word deluded, I know immediately that uh, I'm telling the truth and that you've been triggered and you use that word to try and do me down. So you're actually the deluded one if you think Brexit is good value for money. We're £350 billion pounds down the Swanee. About £100 billion of that is um, pandemic expense. Yeah? But £250 billion is Brexit, and we sat at the big table. Now, how deluded are you? There we are. I don't like the word because, as I say, it's a giveaway. But as soon as you see deluded guys, people accusing you of being mad, mentally ill, what have you been smoking, what have you been taking, anything you see like that in social media, block these people immediately because they are 100% in the wrong. Okay, okay. So there you go. So toenail munch. 
with your impressive username. We'll leave you up just now, but that's it. Chunky lover, how's your dog? The dog sadly passed away about eight weeks ago. So there we go. Maybe even more now, maybe 10 weeks, but he was 14 and a half. Is it? I love the painting. It's classy. I thank you again. There he is. Isn't he beautiful? Look at the shine on him. He was such a gorgeous dog, that. Lord Wreath. Disagree on Brexit by avoiding the bureaucratic process implemented by the unelected. Well, you see, Greg, <clears throat> that's another myth that you've fallen for. They weren't unelected at all. This country had elected MEPs, members of the European Parliament. They'd stood for election. They were elected. They then went on and elected their leaders. Everything that uh, affected a country, they agreed to, and it was passed. Winston Churchill would be spinning in his grave. His wildest, wildest, favorite, most hopeful dream was to have a totally united Europe with the UK at its heart and uh, a single army, a uh, European army with a single commander. Uh, so that was Churchill for you, 1946. Winston Churchill was the architect of Europe, and now you have just trashed his reputation on it. He will be spinning in his grave out at uh, Bladen Church. Yes, uh, Bladen Church Yard. Right, uh, just, oh, uh, virtually in the grounds of Blenheim Palace, and uh, just along from Woodstock in Oxfordshire. So there we are. Fantastic. Now, able to develop and release. Yes, indeed, Greg. You know, that went on, but we would have got there in the end anyway. So that would have happened anyway. So don't fall for that one. You're falling for all the myths. You're something of an elf garnet, and you've been what from the back? You'll have to accept it, chum. There we are. Okay, good, sir. Have a good day. Sorry, Scotty. A bit predictive texting. Absolutely. Scotty for PM in 2024. You could just have said yes. Well, no, we couldn't. Blocking opposition points of view. No, 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 Greg, we would never block that. Uh, only if somebody's being an idiot. There we are. No, no, we don't block opposition. Uh, do you have a bagpipe? Can you play it? Because well, I'll show you. I can't, but my father was a great bagpiper. I'll see if I've got a picture of him here. I'm sure we had one. That till I see. That's my father. There he is there. He was a bit of a star. Wonderful man. Very, very, very good looking guy. Anytime I took my girlfriends back, they used to fall for him. Your father is so handsome. What about me? <laughs> and I'll wait, I'll see. I'm sure I had a picture of him playing the bagpipes. And it was rather good. I'm sure I had a picture. Oh, my father playing the bagpipes. Has anybody seen that picture? The big man at the pipes. Yes, it's around somewhere. Just give me a second. I'm sure I have one. Definitely. Defo. Defo, as we say. Is that it there? No, I don't see what about that one. Oh, no. No. Ah, there we are. There we are. I knew it was around somewhere. This is my father playing the bagpipes. Now, is that not impressive? Look at the fingers, guys. And he was a remarkable man, you know, incredible. Sorry to hear that. Uh, yes, indeed, Chuck Lover, thank you. The EU bureaucrats in charge are unelected. No, no, if you work it out, we elect the MEPs, or did the MEPs elect their leaders? Can you see? They've all been elected and subject and most of them are politicians which means at some point in their lives they've been elected a bit like when people call the house of lords unelected you know uh, these people were elected as politicians usually except when they bring in their pals as lords and ladies to try and swing the balance well i'm off to do some shopping scotty catch you later dinky do captain from sunny norwich i salute you captain in sunny Norwich, have a gorgeous day. We'll all be going ourselves. Uh, that's not what Winston got. Well, it is, Greg. Yes, you listen to my clue, Greg. You've listened to too many falsehoods. You listen to me, and I will educate you properly with facts that you can use. Cheers, Scotty. Catch up soon. Have a great day, Frank. You too, La. 
Winston got Europe with Brussels at its heart with devolved decision making. Uh, yes, but uh, you know, we never ever lost sovereignty or anything. So there you go. So Europe was good, Brexit bad. What type of things do you do on here? First time I've come across you. Ah, we do the lot. We talk everything except sad stuff. We tend not to do sad stuff. Uh, we've been doing a bit of Brexit today, but just historical, really, because obviously, sadly, it's happened. Uh, we'll have to live with it. The Afghan at Little England, our response is cheap and beneath you, but nevertheless, factual, Greg, as you well know. And it's not that cheap. It's actually quite a good description of what went on. There we are. Can you please say happy birthday to my friend Shay? He's watching you and he'd love it. Michael McDeed, I can say hi to she and a big dinky do from Scotty McClure to every single one of you. Fat, fat like you married, Apple user, don't be ridiculous. Who would have me? There we are. Thank you for sending. Maria has sent a beautiful gift. Who's the grotty boy behind you? No grotty boys behind me, Miko. So there you are, being an idiot in arrogant Scottish self-righteous opinion. Sense any of you? No, no, that's what we're saying, Tony. There's no, there's zero censorship on here. You're very welcome to give you an opinion, but I am also obliged to tell you if it's wrong. There we are, and I replace it with the facts. There we are. Hi, Scotty from Thurso again. We love you in Thurso. Good morning from Indiana. Indiana wants me, but I can't go back there. Yes, they're unelected by the people. Indeed, but then, you see, we have other unelected people. We have the House of Lords, which used to be the highest court in the land before the Supreme Court. You know, we even Her Majesty the Queen, the monarch, was originally elected. So there we are, certainly Scotland. Usual opposition to alternative views on Brexit, reach for the racism, regulatory cheap shock. Now, Greg, there's been zero racism, there's been zero bigotry, there's been zero cheap shots, yes? So uh, it's not even an alternate view. I'm just giving you the facts. I didn't say I had a view on Brexit. I just gave you the facts. So, all right, so you'll need to take that back. You've told three whoppers there, Greg. How does that look for your credibility on here? There we have it. Do you support BLM? Well, everybody supports BLM because we were all originally black. They're all from the African Rift Valley. Yes, EU president, council are appointed. Yes, the, the council and the president are appointed, but they will have been elected by their own councillors. Fantastic. Hello, can you shout out to Ryan? It's his birthday. Of course we can. Europe's still good. Independence is better. Well, Greg, not really, because we've lost 250 billion quid. We are heading for economic annihilation. We can now be pushed about by anybody. So we're absolutely at the mercy of the superpowers. Absolutely. Floating about like a fart in a windy day. And also fragmentation of the EU, political fragmentation. So if you think these are positives, you press on. Okay, Greg? Right, there we go. Wonderful. Hey, good morning, Scotty. How are you this fine morning? I am absolutely dinky do Smitchell. So lovely to have you with us, and a big warm welcome to you. I can tell you, it's fantastic. Now, so it's true, the Scots hate Trump. No, they don't, you see, Commander 148. Uh, Trump received very bad press in the mainstream media because he called them out for what they are. Yeah, and the mainstream media, of course, put a lot of anti-Trump propaganda. But since then, a lot of truth has come out about Trump. And if you remove the mainstream media criticism, what do you get from the Donald? And there's a lot of truth being talked there. Have another look. There we go. So four-year-olds in Scotland can change their gender without their parents' consent. Oh, Mr. Mitty, don't. The UK has 650 MPs for 68 million EUs. 750 MPs for 500 million. Is that this much less democratic for the people? Well, you see, there was no democracy really in that referendum because two and a half million people of a majority 
right? And it wouldn't have been two and a half million. It would have been about 665,000 if we take out the red bussers that believed Boris. Um, uh, so you've got two and a half million. We'll leave it where that is. Two and a half million of a majority dictating to almost 70 million people that they be robbed of their EU to the citizenship and the right to work out with the UK. Oh, how bad is that? So there you have it. Fantastic. I'd always apologise quickly, sir, if I felt the need, but I've been labelled an Alf Garnet. Well, yes, because you, you've done your Alf Garnet. That sort of um, what can we call it? A working class story that believes in, uh, in in Churchill and everything he stood for. The left absolutely sabotaged Brexit before, during and after and then whinge. Yes, indeed, Tony, you're quite right. They shouldn't whinge. Now, I will marry you, baby. I need a passport. As if McClure would ever be party to anything like that. So perhaps I should not be the one to apologise, Greg. It's up to you. You should never really have said anything you need to apologize for. Have a think about that, Lala. Uh, so there we go. What is Alf Garnett? Alf Garnett was a, an actor, a wonderful actor, um, who played the part of a kind of not terribly smart, right-wing, working-class story guy. Yes, who absolutely sucked in anything he was told about Churchill. That's not what you meant by Alf Garnet, you implied bigot. No, no, Greg. We're not saying Alf was a bigot. You see, this use of the word bigot again is very, very suspect. You know, who's the bigot? That's what I would ask. Scotty McClure is sending big love to you. Dinky do. Scotty, do you like the rise and fall of Reginald Perrin? The late Leonard Rossiter, I adored it. And I knew... Uh, the lady that played his wife, Pauline, and uh, she was absolutely fantastic. And um, I loved Leonard Rossiter's brilliant, brilliant articulation. Outstanding actor, wonderful articulant. If you can't read and understand what was wrote on the side of a bus, you have issues. No, no, turn it. It's a, what was wrote in front of the bus. If that wasn't going to happen, then the person what wrote it has issues. Would you not say? There you are. Thoughts about it? I've no need to apologize. Well, Greg, we'll leave it with you. Perhaps maybe once you have a wee look at what you've been implying, you'll think otherwise. Uh, I see they likened you. Uh, no, no, they've never likened me. They might have likened me to high barnet. I uh, respect you for broadcasting your take on the facts. Well, Greg, yes, uh, there's no take on facts. There's just facts. So we're not really broadcasting a take on the facts. We're broadcasting the facts. I have facts and sources too. Well, spill, Greg, we'll look at them. One should not imply idiocy to differing fact sources. Correct, Greg. You are quite right in that. So there we go. Now then, and we never ever would, I uh, say, and what time is it? It's time I wasn't here. I've just realized the time, my goodness me. Uh, guys, what a fantastic TikTok live this morning. Yes, indeed. And uh, I send, uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. That's what I'm telling you. It's just amazing. Would you like a tune on the squeeze box just to finish up for this morning? The Scotty Light Heavy Metal. I'm just about to give you some heavy metal here. Um...
Thank you very much. Hello from Michigan. Sounds fantastic. Maria Knight, my darling, thank you for your beautiful gifts of TikToks. Bless you. So lovely to have you with us. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Get everything sorted out. I'm going to have to dash, but this is Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Get on to the TikTok videos. Get on to the YouTube channel and subscribe for tonight because we'll be talking cars on Scotty McClue's YouTube channel at 11 o'clock. 11 p.m., that's um, Greenwich Mean Time plus one, Daylight Saving Time DST, or um, British Summer Time. So we'll see you there. Fantastic. Wonderful stuff. Got to go, guys. Scotty, G.T. Usher, lovely to have you with us. Dinky you doo ta lads. Have a beautiful day and love being you. It's a great thing to be.